because the main coverage of our course is actually uh, the foundations for open flow, software defined networks, and then the most recent uh, one is the network function virtualization. But prior to discussing the, the main topics of the course, the syllabus was designed to have an introduction to uh, IP networking basics, right? So that's the course content that you will have to go through when you enroll in Rakuten Learning Hub. So this will be the topics covered in that course, in my introductory course. So you need to understand the basic concepts of networking and, you know, the normal thing that we do in LAN 1 internet. And, uh, of course, the network media, how to connect all of those uh, networks, especially when you're doing open LAN, normally you have a backhaul, right? So those backhaul are connected by fiber optics. And then we will also have a, an overview of the wireless networks normally used we are common, uh, commonly used in the IT enterprise environment, the internet, and then, of course, cloud computing. And the last course would be about TCP IP and how do you do your IP addressing. But for this course, we will concentrate on IP, IP before uh, IP addressing because uh, that's the most commonly used. Uh, we are in a transition phase for IPv6 because we are lacking now enough uh, IP addresses because of the millions of devices connected to the internet. So that would be the, the, the next phase, but we will not be covering that in this course. So as I've said, the basics of computer network uh, is your computer devices or what we call the nodes and other devices. And they're normally they are connected uh, or communicate with each other using a set of uh, communication protocols. And uh, the interconnection, the purpose of which is to share resources uh, that is provided by the network nodes. So your nodes are normally personal computers, servers, network hardware, and other general purpose hosts. The interconnection between nodes uh, are normally done using your broadband RS, RF spectrum, or they may be basically wired, as I've said. For example, in Oran, the backhaul is connected by your fiber optic cables. And of course, the last is the communication protocol, which is the last topic uh, of the introductory course, which is TCP IP. So, Let's go back in time. This is the normal network that you normally see in your offices, right? So when you're in the office, normally you have your PC, your desktop, your printers, all of your wired connection, and then you have the media uh, between floors. You're connected by by a fiber optic, right? Uh, I don't know if there's you know buildings still today using copper connections, but normally between your switches and your core switches, it's always a fiber optic connection nowadays. So this is the typical setup. And then your router connects to the internet. So most of this equipment will be discussed in my introductory course. So what are the advantages of using the network? So uh, it's obvious that we can have simultaneous access, right? When you're connected to the network, there are hundreds of users, for example, in one workplace. And when you have that connection, you can share peripheral devices, such as a common printer, for example. Uh, not like everybody will order a printer and connect it individually to their desktops or laptops. And then for communication, we now also use uh, VOIP in our phones, right? Uh, for example, in corporate offices now, we, we get rid of the physical phone, right? What we do is we have soft phones now in our laptops so that we can use it as a, an ordinary telephone via voice over IP. 
And it's easier to do data backup when you're connected in the network. So these are some of the items that we will discuss in my introductory course. And I think you are very familiar with these devices. If you are a practitioner, or I mean, if you're an IT practitioner, you should be very familiar with all of these devices. So I will not discuss everything today of these devices because you have to enroll in our course and all of them will be discussed here. But this is an example of how uh, a network interface card, one of the devices, uh, will look like in the learning hub. So it will define what the component is and you can have a physical, you know, uh, visualization of what the device is. So I will also have a module or a topic on wireless networks in, in our introductory module. So the emphasis there would be on uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi because these are the most commonly used uh, system in our daily corporate environment, IT networks. So most of you are familiar with Bluetooth. Uh, most of you are using it in your mobile phone, but you can also use it in your desktop and laptops. So this is the technology that was uh, introduced in Europe and it is heavily adopted by the industry. So it, it, as you can see, it's, it's in the UHF, UHF radio wave. And then you have your normal Wi-Fi connectivity, right? So nowadays, what's happening to the offices is we normally get rid of the physical uh, copper connection going to your laptop, right? When you go to the office, uh, you just open your laptop and you will have to click on the your Wi-Fi icon in your laptop and look for the nearest uh, access point that is located in your floor, right? Nowadays, we what we have uh, in the U.S. offices is a high-density Wi-Fi connection, meaning that anywhere in the floor, you will be covered just like the RF that was being uh, discussed by Sir Richard in 5G open plan. Uh, this one is a, a localized version of it. Uh, within the floor or within the building, you are fully covered by a Wi-Fi if it's a high density configuration. So because of this technology, we can now get rid of our physical connection on our desk when we are in our physical offices or even at home. And then I will also have topics about the internet. And everybody's familiar with this because everybody uses the internet. I'm not sure if there are still people in the cities that are not using the internet. This is the most productive way of, uh, you know, uh, getting knowledge and doing a uh, conversation uh, using your social media. And I will also have a discussion, a basic discussion on how the devices, uh, you know, traverse the, the different devices up to your connection going to the internet. And then the last topic, of course, as I've mentioned in my uh, introductory slide is how do we do the IP addressing? As I've said, this will be discussed uh, as an IPv4 uh, standard uh, on how we do IP addresses in use of our devices. Because if you don't know how to do IP addressing, you'll not be able to configure all the devices that you need to install in your 
network, including the 5G Aura network. Every, everything now has an IP address. And then, of course, TCP IP. And basically, that will be the preliminary uh, overview of the introductory course for uh, OpenFlow, SDN, and NFT.